but it's so nice. I can't complain. Winter, I love winter. I don't know what it is, but I'm a winter guy. I like summer, but it's okay. Winter's the one. Winter, you get to wear nice clothes, stay warm, there's hot chocolate, there's fireplaces, there's snow, there's all sorts going on that just keep you motivated waiting for the summer or the spring because obviously spring comes before summer. But anyway, listen, let's talk about camera What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. This is Check Talks and check me out. I am outside. Yes, it is cold, very cold. But this is for you guys because I wanted to change up the scenery a bit. I was getting a bit bored in my bedroom and I thought I've got a park opposite my house. Why not just go for a walk? It's lovely, it's nice, it's fresh. <sighs> Camera bags are like an essential part of you as a photographer or a filmmaker while you travel around and take all your gear with you. That's what it does, a camera bag. And the way I see it, a camera bag is like an extension of you. You need to feel part of it when you're traveling around doing this sort of outdoorsy photography, filmmaking type of stuff, just like what I'm doing now. It's got to be comfortable and it's got to hold all your gear, right? So when you're making that camera bag purchase decision, it's important to realize that, okay, you've got a budget, number one, You've got to find something that fits all your gear, number two. And also if you're into aesthetics and things like that, you've got to look for something that suits your style. Hey little guy. You like the nut? You looking for the nuts? Come here. Oh, and he's gone. Now I get it. There's loads of things to think about when you're trying to buy a camera bag. You've got to make sure it fits your gear, that it fits all your travel accessories and clothes and all other random stuff that you'll be bringing along with you. Are you going to need side access? Are you going to need top access? Are you going to need something which is going to hold those little items that are not going to get lost and can easily be found rather than rummaging through the bottom of your bag and finally finding it after dumping everything out? You don't want that. If you're editing on the move as well, it's got to fit your hard drives and your memory cards and your laptop and the chargers and everything like that. So it's not an easy decision when you come to think of it, especially because this is something you're going to be carrying around on your back for hours and hours on end. If you're a nature photographer and you like to go out to vast landscapes and things like that, you've got to make sure that it's actually not going to break your back in after those hours and hours of carrying it. So I guess the real question to ask here is, where do you start? What do you, what do you look for first when you're trying to buy a camera bag? I would suggest think about what gear you're going to be traveling with. Think about everything that you're going to be taking along with you when you're traveling with your camera bag. Now it doesn't matter if you're like an amateur or a professional photographer, everyone's going to have relatively the same stuff that they're going to be carrying. Guys, check this tree out. I mean, it doesn't look nice there, but how about this? Anyway, I get sidetracked. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Now, it doesn't really matter which camera bag you go for, or which brand. All I would say is go for something that's gonna, first of all, protect your gear, but also be super, super comfortable when you're wearing it. Ugh. I need to rest. Okay, so this is my camera bag. This I've had for not so long actually, but I love it. I absolutely love it because it holds all my gear and it's got some really, really clever compartments that I didn't think that were gonna be that much use to me, but wow, I'm so glad that I did get them. And this bag is made by low pro there are a bunch of back manufacturers out there go for something that you like but these are the guys I ended up with first of all because they fit within my budget but also it's got a kind of a snazzy design I'm not too much of a fan of the light 
silvery gray color I would have preferred the whole bag to be this sort of color but it's all right but let me take you through some essentials about this bag that I think are super super important that you should be looking for in any camera bag that you're going to be buying first of all it needs to have pockets 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 now this bag's got a bunch of them and I'm going to start off right at the front here the front pocket here is a nice little sliver just to go in there you've got enough space for something like a battery pack and maybe some like wires or even something like a ND filter or something which I've got right there and a couple of memory cards does the job the real magic is behind here in this slot here I'll open that up and you are greeted with the most eye-watering bright orange that you can think of but that's where I keep all my stuff I've got my camera which sits normally in there a lens which sits there I've got enough space to carry a few other lenses maybe even my F to Z adapter for my Nikon and of course a gimbal for my mobile phone a couple of slots there for my memory cards as well now the good thing about this bag is that it has a rubber base so I am not at all phased about plonking it down on the floor where there's mud or grass or anything like that because there's this thick rubber base where I can set the bag down and it pretty much stands by itself it's got almost a flat base so it does the job there flip it around Ugh. this is important people this is your back support you do not want to buy a bag that doesn't have any padding on the back because trust me you will be dying for it can you shut up okay but just as much as the back supports are important so are the back or shoulder straps these are padded they've got a couple of slots in there if you want to put something through there as well these sort of harness straps as well in case you want to strap it across your chest just for that extra support and of course the trusty suitcase slots and of course on the side we have got stretchy stretchy pockets now in here I normally put my GoPro case or something like that but these are super handy if you want to stick a tripod down the side you've got something which you can slot and secure the tripod here as well again clasp here so that's super super helpful and the same on the other side as well so you've got two 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 slots now moving on to the other pockets around the top here again lots of orange be warned guys this pocket here not too deep but great for storing small things like sunglasses or headphones or little items again super padded as well so I have to say the quality of the padding on this in each and every pocket is amazing and this is again not that much of a deep pocket but good for your essentials now the pièce de résistance we have the top pocket which here you have a laptop slot sleeve in case you want to put in any of your 15 inch devices right in the top there and another slot a massive deep slot for anything that's big bulky any other chargers or things like that that you want to put in the top here you've got enough space to put in something as big as the fly more kit or combo from DJI which fits in perfectly into that slot and of course if I take that out we have a beautiful massive pocket there in here you've got a couple of extra small pockets that will fit maybe like a hard drive or even like a sort of road video micro that I've got mounted on the camera right now that fits perfectly in there again all super padded waterproof sort of nylon material I don't know what it is but that is perfect for that now the best thing about this bag is that it is quite light as a package by itself again you do not want to buy a heavy bag and then put your heavy equipment in there that's just going to be a nightmare on your back and for long travel purposes so I have to say that this bag has actually done me great over the past few months that I've had it and I cannot wait to do more sort of travel photography with it and take it around with me I have to say low pro do make really really good bags and yes this might be the baby of the range but it does me good for what I'm using it for right now later in life I might need an upgrade and I may even look at low pro again I mean they do really really affordable good quality bags which you just can't go wrong with if you're an entry level or even a pro photographer but with that said, let's carry on. <clears throat> uh. 
My ass is all wet. Right. Where am I? Ah, there I am. So to summarize things, guys, like I said, find something that suits what you are looking for. Don't go for what the pros and what everybody else out there is sort of recommending as the best bag because sometimes that might break your budget. You know, there's a lot of pro cameras out there that need a certain type of bag. Yeah, that's fine. You've got to buy the specialist bag for it. But if you're an entry level photographer like me or even a filmmaker, these sort of bags will do the trick. You don't need to break the bank. Go for something that is good quality from a reliable brand and you'll do fine. Look at me. One strapping like a boss. Did I just say boss? Ooh, I've got to take a picture here. Okay, so that just about wraps it up for me guys on this bag and of course any other bag out there that you're looking to get. I hope this video helped you guys somewhat towards a decision. And if it did, don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment, say hello, and of course, share the video and if you liked it subscribe i'll give you more and of course i will be dropping another video on my camera bag essentials so stay tuned for that but until then i bid you guys a farewell and i will see you guys on the next one peace